Well, we are in the shop today. We had probably four inches of a torrential downpour yesterday. So we're not able to go out on site because every site is just gonna be a sopping mud mess. <clears throat> so we're gonna actually do things that have needed to be done for quite some time. And today we're actually gonna be working on the drill rig. So I'll show you what we're about to do. We've got the rig stood up here in the back lot. And this is the back table and it's open right now, which typically we never open it. But we're gonna be replacing this entire piece here. This is called a floating sub. So this section here, you can tell all the grease, the O-rings in it are dead. But this thing probably has about 12,000 hours on it and it supports all of the weight and all of the rotation and all the hammering and everything. And inside of this portion here is a spline, just like any old axle. And it's got two big O-rings on the bottom of it. A section of splines about this big and it moves slightly and then this piece here slides inside of it and what that does that prevents you from actually putting any extra downward force on any of the rods here in the carousel or if you're trying to hook them up from the sling that way you don't break anything you get this little bit area of of give you don't have to be so precise with it now just one of these from the manufacturer if i were to call shram is about thirteen thousand dollars uh, we got one another company made and instead of disassembling the head here and dropping it out they made an adapter that we just take this off and then they adapt to it for about 6500 so we're going to go ahead and replace that today that's going to be one of the things on the list and another thing on the list is this table here so if you can tell it may not seem significant but this is all worn down well that makes it trouble with our halves which those are our halves right there it makes the halves actually not sit flush on the table but they sit kind of inward well if they sit inward the center is lower than the outer portion when the holdout wrench comes out to lock on to the flats on the drill rod the holdout wrench is actually bending down and it's putting stress downward stress on the holdout wrench when it's actually supposed to be supported by the load of the table so we got to go in here today with a welder we're going to weld all this up grind it back smooth we're going to do the same here you can really tell right here how much it's worn away we're going to do it all the way around so this piece right here is actually the inside of an old floating sub and if we come here and we look at the teeth you can see how the teeth have kind of uh rounded in one direction let's see if we can get a good view of that yeah you can see there so these are actually supposed to be just straight up and down so these are excessively worn now the issue with this is if you're drilling and these splines actually tear off then your drill rod stops rotating and you risk the entire assembly dropping so this is the floating section and these are the splines i'm going to show you the brand new one she's made in america so this here is our new floating sub real pretty I love pretty machine work. It's gorgeous. Proudly made in the USA. No overseas shit here. This is gonna be our gasket. All the high pressured air and water and everything goes through here. And these are our new hardware. So we're gonna start now stripping everything off of the old one. I'm setting it down. I think this thing weighs about 120 pounds. Hey Phil. So I come up to here. Now, my intentions are I only have to take off these, but I'm gonna go ahead and take off the bottoms. That way we can go ahead and disassemble it and rebuild it and have it as extra, as backup. I went up to it and I literally put this on it to find the size and I unspun this by hand. And this bolt is supposed to be about three times that length. This was broken off and just chilling inside of there. So good thing we're replacing it. I think it was just grease on the rig. Cool. Got that all and we nice and ball. flat. Three more to go. We got about right there because Phil is still yep. good. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Oh, wow. Look, it's something just popping off of it. That's yeah, crazy. Got that corner all done. 
Now I gotta work on going all the way around it. Got this side completely finished. In the front. Still gotta work on the back. Still gotta work on the back back there. I can crank it up and I can rotate that head. There you go. I think you got it broke. Push. There you go. Got that one broke. Once we get them all broke, then we'll just swap over to the ratchet and it'll be real simple. Yeah. Uh, you want to rotate it? Yep. That one's loose. That one's loose. That one is now loose. Yeah, I thought you got that one on that side. There's one hiding over there. Cool, all right, we got one left. Where's the screw it? It screws into right here. There's threads into each one of these. Oh, okay. they're, uh, they're like, I call them half moons. Ready to do the back one? I didn't mean literally break it. <laughs> I'll fire it up once we get them all started. Then we'll, uh, we'll wiggle it up and move it around. Yeah, got that new floating sub on now. Got our bolts going in. Got a nice pretty gasket. Doesn't look like $6,000, but it sure is. 6500 bucks. That's That costs more than your car. I know. <laughs> that's, that's my main thought. <laughs> Oh shit. Come on, get off of there. Man, I can't get the damn thing off. If you relax your face, it makes it easier. 
Relax my face. <laughs> Relax body. That's, that's a bodybuilding trick right there. Relax your face, man. It's easier to do the lift. There you go. All right, I'm going to crank it up and then rotate it. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go get some uh, like red or some colored fingernail polish. I'm gonna mark lines down these. That'll indicate and let us know if any of them back out. Now we got the bottom bolts painted, the middle bolts painted, and the top bolts painted. That way we'll be able to tell if any of them actually try to back out from one another. We just physically look and see that the paint has moved. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, share the video if you want. See you all next time.